Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about diodes and one of the things that we are doing in the class I'm teaching right now is a module on diodes. And as we know, diodes are electricity's one-way valve. So there's your basic diode symbol. This is your anode. This is your cathode. Current can flow in this direction. Current is blocked in this direction. And then as we go on to talk about diodes and their functions, then we get to the fact that LEDs are diodes and how we can use this one-way function of the diodes to create a polarity indicator probe and it's really simple so what we're going to do is we're going to take two diodes just like this and we will put them in parallel. And we will run a tail off of one and the other end will go to what we're probing. And if this one is green and this one is red for positive we will get a green LED for negative we will get a red LED and for AC current both will light a really simple idea but it demonstrates to students how diodes work so on this breadboard here, I've mocked up what we were just talking about. Let's zoom in. So we have a current limiting resistor. In this case, it's a 1.5K. Then we have our green LED with its anode in line with our current limiting resistor. Then we have the red LED with its cathode in line with our current limiting resistor and both of these wires go back to our ground so if I zoom out here I can give you a simple demonstration bring in the power supply and if I connect the ground of the power supply to the ground of our probe and touch our probe tip to the positive of the power supply, we get a green LED indicating that we are probing in a positive direction. Conversely, if I reverse this and put the positive on our ground and touch our probe to the negative end of the circuit, the red LED lights. And then finally, if I bring in an AC source, and it doesn't matter what direction I connect up the AC source, this is 60 hertz AC, by the way, they both light. I know it's kind of hard to see the green, but very well here. If I pull this off, you'll be able to see it does go out. So as you can see, since it is alternating between positive and negative it really doesn't matter in what direction that we put the probes on the circuit because it's AC and switching back and forth so for half the cycle the green is positive for half the cycle 
the red is positive. And once they have a good understanding of this step, we bring them to their first lab, which is to build their little current probe using a piece of perf board, two LEDs, one resistor. They learn how to use strip board like this, cutting tracks, and when all is said and done, the students have a nice probe that they'll be able to use as the course goes on to test polarity of the different circuits that they'll be working on. And there will be quite a few circuits they'll be working on. So if you don't have something like this in your lab, it can be very useful to have and a very simple thing to make. I mean, if you look at this, it's nothing but a piece of strip board, piece of stiff wire for the probe, 1.5K resistor, two LEDs, uh, some flexible 22 gauge wire with an alligator clip at the end. And let's uh, focus here if it will. Come on, you wanna focus for me? Come on. There we go. Our probe is soldered in line with the resistor. We cut the track between the resistor. Then we have our two LEDs, common anode. We cut the track after it, common together all of our cathodes. And Bob's your uncle. You've got yourself a simple polarity probe. Easy, useful, I hope you liked it. If you did, give me the thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And please, if you would, check out the Patreon page. The link is down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace.